Alrighty, it is just a tad bit gross outside today. Been raining all day and well this weekend I plan on getting the flatbed mounted on the square body so we're just gonna slowly work throughout the day here and hopefully at least get the bed set on the square body. That way tonight I can think about how to make mounts and go about it from there. And if it's nice out tomorrow I'll start making mounts. But today we're gonna lift her up and get her set on. So we got the A-frame moved back and the bed under it for the most part. We're going to put a winch on the hitch of the forerunner and put a snatch block up at the top of the A-frame and see if she'll lift it or see if she'll tip over. One of the two will happen, but with any luck, she'll just go up and then we'll back the square body up here and see what happens from there, but yeah, should be interesting. <laughs> Well, I completely forgot to film us setting it on, but the flatbed is officially on the square body. Man. Whole different truck now. Very excited to work on getting this thing mounted. So, first things first though, I'm gonna have to remove the toolboxes. It sits very close to my wheel. The bed's made for a long wheelbase truck and I think this was a nine foot bed actually, now that I'm thinking about it. But we'll work with it, do what we gotta do. I'm very happy with this though. Couldn't have worked out better. Well, it has been a really good day around here. Flatbed is fully set on the truck. It needs to be centered, but it's sitting how it's going to sit. It's actually level, amazingly. I got the got the gooseneck plate all bolted down in here, finally. So that's solid. So the, the flatbed is just sitting right on it. And like I said, it is surprisingly perfectly level where it's at. So we're going to mount it right there. Bam. Oh, it looks good. And we measured the bed. The bed is nine feet. I don't remember it being a nine foot bed when I bought it, but oh well, that's what we got. That's what we're going to work with. It might look a little goofy, but that's what I got. So hopefully the nine feet comes in handy. The boys have been busy though. They're playing coil over swap. Brandon's got the factory struts off that his Miata. Why? Colin putting his BCs in his car and Brandon's getting the coils off of here. You boys having fun? Uh, sure. Yeah, if that's what you want to call it, right? Yeah. 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 Been a real good day. Colin's firewall looking really good. 
Yeah. Well, yesterday was a whole lot of fun. The square body is officially a complete truck. Or at least it looks like a complete truck. Still has a lot of things to be complete, but... Uh, a lot of work, but we were able to get it all mounted up. Made mounts for it. It's bolted down temporarily enough. I've only got four spots holding it. I plan on making something to tie in the rear of the bed to the frame, or I mean the rear bumper to the frame for pulling purposes. That way that's nice and reinforced. And then I'm going to be adding another um, mount off the side of the gooseneck plate there. So, And then this thing will be absolutely solid, not going anywhere. But this is just so cool to see. Hard to believe that it actually came together. Still got a lot of odds and ends to do. Got a lot of wiring to get done this week. And yeah. Then we're going to start driving it hopefully. So I'm going to jump right into wiring tonight and we'll make a few updates along the way if I find out anything good. So yeah. Stay tuned for it though. The square body is not far from being roadworthy. Well, I ended up making the decision that the harness needs to come back out of this. It has way too many wires. I just thought throwing it in here and kind of winging it would be a good option to go about it, but no, I need to take this harness out. I need to lay it out, go through it, get rid of wires that I don't need for stuff that I'm never going to have and whatnot. Because this was just a generic harness meant to rewire a vehicle. It's not meant for a square body Chevy. So I got to go through it and just get rid of stuff. It's got so many extras that I don't need. It's just going to make a mess and look bad. So, And it's a little bit overwhelming at the moment. So we're going to get it yanked back out of here and see what happens with it. progress has been made. I think the harness is ready to go back in. I started looming up the rear portion a little bit. I do have to add length to it. It's not long enough to come to the end of my truck so it's not a big deal but got everything all into their own 
little categories here of where it, of what everything is and yeah basically in just a way I understand it because I'm not gonna sit here and go through it with everybody on here but it's in a way that I understand it took all of this out of it this is just everything that it does not need this truck is gonna be bare bones necessities only so if it doesn't need it it's not gonna have it because at this point in age I don't feel like I need everything in a vehicle so yeah time to start installing it I think so wish me luck productive night last night I got all the wiring simplified everything taken out that I don't need and I was able to get the harness back in the truck even last night just roughly laying in there tonight I went through and I've got everything routed I went through I got the back half all the way through I got the tail lights got the tail lights all wired up I just got to hook up some grounds back here and those will be good to go and then for the last while I've been figuring out my headlight wiring so that's getting there still got to do the passenger side but it's midnight already and I might as well get a little bit of sleep hopefully get off of work early tomorrow and well hit the ground running because I'm trying to get this truck done for Saturday, well, done, drivable enough for Saturday, and I want to take this to Northern Roundup up in Gleason near where I'm at. So, yeah, that's that's my pipe dream at the moment. I think it's doable right now. As long as the wiring comes out good and things work, I think it'll make it. So, wish me luck on that. Gonna film as much as I can tomorrow but tomorrow is going to be another late night and a little bit of a scramble hopefully not a scramble hopefully I can get this thing wrapped up fairly early get it tested go for a little test drive and just see what happens so yeah gonna gonna just keep going with it 